Hey, what's going on? This is Valix from Black Pestilence, and you're listening to Pure Metal of Gods Magazine. Hey, this is Mike from Nocturnus AD, and you're listening to Pure Metal Gods. Hi there, this is Anna from Imaginature Band, and you're watching Pure Metal of Gods Magazine on YouTube. Matt Cavalera here, man, sending you good metal vibes, good luck with your podcast. Good company, keep the metal, keep supporting the metal world, the whole universe of hey metal. Guys, this is Sasha and Andre from, from Major, Major Moments. Moments. You're watching Pure Metal of Gods on YouTube. Rock on! Hello, my name is Zombie Manin and, and this is Gate Open! And you are listening and watching Pure Metal of Gods magazine on YouTube. Let's rock! Hi guys, this is Dennis Prophecy. And you're listening to your pure metal of God on oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah! This is Matt Miller. And this is Jordan Kelso. And you're watching Pure Metal of the Gods magazine on YouTube. Hey, this is Jeff Patel for that. And you're watching Pure Metal of the Gods. Stay black, stay Patel. Yeah. So from there, it was just like, you know, just kind of like a snowball. Yeah, it was not, not but, but we had no outlet for it. Pearl Jam or, yeah. uh, or Radius Machine or whatever the fuck, and then we would just play our shit. Jealousy runs through us all. And is it going to happen? Yes, it is. We do things to better ourselves, and that's all it is. It's no harm, no foul kind of thing, you know? Um, of death metal. And so, yeah, we, it, we were going there. <laughs> Oh man, as a struggling musician, you gotta live out of U-Hauls, you gotta you gotta go hungry for days, you know. You're barely making it and it's and I say this business is not for the weak at heart. If you love the business, you can do it. If you don't love the business, then if you wanna make money out of every fucking hour of work or if if you wanna have, you know, safety all around you and you wanna have the 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 the, the kind of life that's gonna give you some, you know, that well it just doesn't work that way the music industry isn't isn't built that way. so did you ever get ripped off by any event promoters uh any of the shows that you guys played never <laughs> I, I agree <laughs> only do it for exposures that's all and for the fashion but uh we're all solid here every time there is an event even though there's no crowd, uh, all the bands are solid. Everyone support each other, and uh, we don't give a fuck about the uh, you know mainstream shit. We try to keep it, you know, we call it prophesizing the song, so it's you still know you. Hey, that's prophecy, but you can tell the difference, and you can tell the evolution of the band 
as far as going from CD to CD to CD. You notice there's a difference and there's more influences uh, with more modern music. We had a Fostex multi-track recorder that we would track our practices with and try to, you know, make professional recordings, but <laughs> A set of expectations other than that we wanted to go out on tour and, you know, uh, bang heads. I think seven years ago, then I left because I had a drug problem. It's a long time to be married to men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> long relationship. Right on. Uh, well, I mean, currently we're doing 122 days. We're on day 75 today. We've been, I mean, literally every opinion, all music influences the next genre that comes out. So it all started from somewhere anyways. These songs have the metal influence on them. And I can scream with the brutalists of the brutals, but we just wanted music that was a little diverse where I could sing. And that's why we started coming out with like these singles like Demon and stuff like this that have multi different styles like like you know where this is going so <laughs> we we finished the show this was in macedonia we finished the show and then we decided to go to uh, a bar uh just close by the venue afterwards and 